Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders Radio Network, heard across the USA. And we are here for the Vitality Revolution with Dr. Sean Weiss. And Dr. Sean, we are talking about physical wellness. And we talked in the first segment a little bit about movement. And I think movement is so important as what we talk about, that emotion is created by motion. And that really... that that movement and emotional wellness really tie in together, which was the first way to start it off. And this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about nutrition. And I've kind of been living that lately. So (laughs) I am excited to hear about your take on nutrition. Well, we could continue with what we said earlier, which is, you know, we kind of get set in our ways as we get older Mm -hmm. and, uh, and get more stubborn. Mm-hmm. with what we're eating or what we feel we have the right to eat whatever we want or nobody's going to tell me what to eat right right but there's such a connection um with nutrition and vitality and again so it true. starts with with food choices and and I'm not I'm an advocate for making small changes that are realistic mm-hmm. um there's certainly no nobody's going to be perfect I follow yeah. an 80 20 rule um not only with myself but with my clients and, and patients mm-hmm. Sure. Of really trying to eat more clean 80% of the time. That's right. going to pretty much get you where, because you know what? Life happens and you've got to give yourself some grace that if you derail off and you're 20% of the time, maybe you have a, a nice cheeseburger, like, like I did over the holiday weekend, mm-hmm. then guess what? It doesn't derail your life. And right. you can't be so strict because then what? Nobody's compliant, right? Nobody wants to do right. it. Right. And you've got to find something that works for you. So an 80, 20 rule, is a generally a, a good way to start, but I love that. nutrition, you know, in this country, I call it the SAD, the standard American diet. Mm-hmm. And if you can think of something very simple with, with, with the standard American diet, which is sad, um, I say, stop eating crap. And when I say stop yes. eating crap, C-R-A-P, mm-hmm. you want to avoid carbonated drinks. Those are your sodas. Mm-hmm. Uh, we call it pop here in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah, here too in the West Coast. Yeah, so there's just there's <clears> a lot of sugar content. There's just a lot of junk. There's the sugar content in in the in the sodas. Right. Are just it's it's crazy. It mm-hmm. causes a lot of health problems and puts you at a lot of risk for chronic disease. Yeah, really and and I think there's an element of addictive processes to it because I know so many people that are like addicted to Diet Coke. Or oh, I know. What is it about like, Diet Coke? Everybody, the like, Diet Coke. What is, and I go, what I think is it cocaine it? in it or something? Like, why is it addicted? To it diet? obviously is doing something. And, you know, I love, scary. <laughs> I love a Coke, but I really force myself that maybe once a month I'll have one and that's it. I have to be careful. It's yeah. very important. Yeah. The carbonated beverages are huge. And then mm-hmm. the R in the crap is <laughs> refined sugars. And, ah. you know, I encourage people to really start paying attention to your labels of how many grams of sugar and things. And, and even if you're trying to eat healthier and you're going to that health food aisle in the grocery mm-hmm. store, half of it's nonsense. Half of it is absolute right. garbage because it's labeled as something healthy for you. Maybe it has some protein in it, but you turn the back and it has 37 grams of sugar. Exactly. Um, you really need to look at it. I say shop the perimeter, the perimeter mm-hmm. of the store. Mm-hmm your produce, your vegetables, yeah. your organic bar, your meats. Yeah. Remember the store. If you get into the health food side and you're trying to get healthier with protein bars or things right. like that, you really need to pay attention to what's in it. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And that's where you get your breads, you know, all mm-hmm. of your refined sugars and, and things like in your, your processed breads, your, your swables, loaves of white bread, you know, just full Very true. of sugar. Very true. And yeah. I don't know, and I'm not trying to dis subway, but you know, the subway, if you look over in the European standards, you would have to categorize their bread as cake. This is no yeah, joke. Yeah, that's there's right. So much sugar in their bread. Absolutely. That it's almost in a cake category. So but you can go to Subway and get a wrap. You could get a wrap, which is a little bit better. Mm-hmm. You could go towards sourdough bread, which I'm really ah. advocating for right now. And I'm getting ready to learn how to make it myself because, you know, I have a lot of glute, gluten issues and with my gut. And because it's a fermented process, mm-hmm. people who have gluten issues, 
tend to do much, much better with sourdough products. You can make sourdough tortillas, you can make sourdough scone, you can do all kinds of things with sourdough. So That's fabulous. Yeah. So refined sugars. So the C, the, the mm -hmm. carbonated beverages, the refined sugars, mm -hmm. are the A is artificial foods. You know, anything that's 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 really yep. uh, processed, you know, P is the processed foods. So artificial and processed, which our diets are full of processed foods, fast Absolutely. food of any kind mm -hmm. is fast food. Right? Absolutely. So really just if you know that that's your daily operation, your standard operating procedure is fast food, then start making changes there first. Mm -hmm. Start cutting back on how many days that you're going mm -hmm. to eat fast food and, and replace that with something else. So right. it's small changes and small <clears throat> increments to kind of fight back against what we're bombarded sure. with in this country with, with our diet. Yeah. Yeah. And then especially if you are older and okay. you have yeah. multiple comorbidities and um, diabetes, yeah. any chronic illnesses, you have got cholesterol. Control. So cholesterol. many people over 50 have higher cholesterol, mm -hmm. um, you know, and high blood pressure. That's just like a death sentence to continue. There's many, many people that I've met who literally have been able to go off of their medications yeah. by simply making dietary changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And I don't believe in diet. So I don't say, oh, you got to go on a diet. I've never dieted in my life. Right. It's a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. it's just incorporating mm -hmm. uh, right. better foods into your life. <clears throat> Totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. So, and then that's the processed food. So obviously when you're looking at that, there's other things that you can do. And I, you know, what I'm learning is smaller portions. I think one of the things that, you know, and I've heard people come to America from other countries and the thing that they're blown away by the large portions that everybody gets when they go to a restaurant mm -hmm. or whatever, we're used to eating more than we need. And I, I, that's something that I've been learning lately. I've been making myself just take, instead of taking what I normally would take, I just take half and see how I feel. Now, if 20 minutes later, I'm still hungry, then have a little bit more. But I think sometimes we get to the point where we we are already full, but our body doesn't know it yet. Isn't that true? Absolutely true. And one of the things that, you know, I teach my clients is to chew more slowly. Yeah. And again, take that 10 to 20 minutes and see if you actually feel full, you mm -hmm. know, again, because we've been so conditioned in our restaurants yeah. to have these gigantic portions, you know, mm -hmm. say that the size of your fist is a serving size of meat and that's three ounces, whether that's chicken, mm -hmm. beef, pork, whatever your mm -hmm. choice of meat is. Right. Serving size is usually the size of your fist. That's a good way yeah. to indicate it. But, you know, you'll get into a restaurant, mm -hmm. you have half a plate full of, yeah. of meat, you know? Yeah. So um, that, that's really important to remember is, sure. is portion size. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think too, just being a little more mindful of you know, what you're putting in yourself and take your time. Now, see somebody like me, that's a type A personality. I always finish before my husband does. I It's always just been my way. And I'm learning slower. Go down. Take it, be more mindful. And then it just, helps your digestion too. Yeah. Yes. And the other thing is that I'm learning is you don't have to have everything that you like on the plate. It's like, it's okay to leave something behind. And I think that's the thing that's been good for me. It's like, it's okay if you really, if you really are dying to have you know, that dessert, take a small piece. There's, there's your 20%, right? And then you take, you can, you can monitor yourself a little bit better. Like you said, is taking your time. And Dr. Weiss and I, we will be right back right after this. Answers for Elders thanks you for watching the Vitality Revolution. Discover a blueprint to find a whole new gear in life, new awareness and greater potential. Subscribe and be a part of our community. Answers for Elders is the North Star of Navigating Senior Care, featuring content to help later life go a lot easier.